take two. Let's try this again. Let's let's actually start the timer this time. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peace. And now, probably a little early, but I'm fine with that. Thank you for releasing me, Spider. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What, what about, about Nasty Nork? Nork? I'm, I'm going after him. him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. sooner oh well Perfect, but that's that's good enough. That felt really good. Ooh, I need to like charge? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, I have not missed flaming that chest in a long time. Oh, I see someone is in chat, but. I have Twitch on light theme, and your light-colored name in my chat is really hard to read. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'll... I'll lean in close here and see it. Jelly Char Jesus. I like it. Just dream awesome game. Yeah, I love it. Love this game. I've only done a few full runs of it. Um, but I've been doing a bunch of practice re recently. And this Dark Hollow is going pretty bad, but hopefully the rest of the game will go a bit better.
I'm mostly just hoping to get a sub two hour time. I'll be pretty happy with that, and then I might come back to the game in the future, but... For now, that's all I really want. Oh wow, even with missing both of those jumps, it looks like I'm still gonna be gaining a bunch of time here. That is everything, okay. I was a little worried that, uh, um, I missed a gem somewhere. Beach, I've listened to Spyro Host at least seven times the whole two hours. Yeah, I love the, the soundtrack. Stuart Copeland did a great job with it. I, too, have listened to the entire thing, like, while well, doing homework, or... or playing other games with worse soundtracks. This level actually has one of my favorite songs, but, uh... in the speedrun, I do it quickly enough that you only barely get to the good part once you finish the level. Come on. There we go. Come on, suicide dog. Sweet. Okay. Jebs, welcome to the stream. Oh, damn it. Ah. Okay, this artisan's isn't going super great. When practicing artisans earlier, uh, I was averaging sub 15 minutes. So hopefully I will uh I will still be around there somewhere. Also for what it's worth, my splits got messed up a while ago. So what it says now is close to my PB and all of those times should be close to accurate, but don't take any of those splits at their word. to flame that guy and uh, makes getting that gem a little bit easier, but oh well. Don't have to get it every time. Oh, so do, do you guys uh, speedrun this game at all, or are you just fans of the game in general? Yeah, just 
just a big fan. That is perfectly fine. This is a good game to be a fan of. When I, uh, when I was a young lad, uh, this was, if not the first, one of the first games my siblings and I had. And, you know, I loved it immediately because it's great. And then over the years I kind of just grew up and realized, oh yeah, it absolutely holds up. I got tired of watching Mario 64 and, uh, wanted a good platformer for a change. Uh, well, as much as I love Mario 64, that one, I will chalk up a lot of my love to nostalgia. <laughs> Oh, I missed him. That's actually not very good. Where? There he is. Oh, wow. I guess when you flame that guy in a tight space, it's really easy to pick up his gems. But anyway, yeah, Spyro, I have very, very few problems with this game. And it has some of the best level design I've seen in any game ever. So good. But I mean, I think... The thing that makes this, and also Mario 64 for that matter, uh, I think a great game to speedrun, and the main reason probably that it, you know, so many people still play it, is it's just so much fun to move around. Like, even after spending time speedrunning this, I still have fun just, like, going into levels... Okay, good. Going into levels and just running around trying to get some jumps that clearly aren't intended. Also, wow, this upper area just went very well. I usually do not do that so well. I want to save this game and, Spl and Sly were my childhood. I really need to play Sly Cooper sometime. I've heard they're great, those games. I've heard that they're great from people that I respect and usually agree with. So I really should give them a try sometime. Ah, crap. Get back here. Oh, wow. This Artisans is actually going very well. Now I'm gonna be careful with this, because I mess that up all the time. <laughs> there is a fast way that you can basically, like, charge down those pedestals, but usually I just fall off when I try that. Ninety-eight, good. Got everything. One wasn't the best, but two and three still hold up. Yeah, I might try them before too long, actually. I've got a few games in my queue that I have wanted to speed run. So once I get a uh, sub-two-hour 
time in this. I'm gonna move on to uh, Tomba 2, which was another favorite of mine from childhood. Which is not nearly as good as this, I just like it and think it's fun. Uh, okay, this jump is gonna take me a few tries. Come on, damn it. Yeah, this jump involves doing a wall glide, which is a trick where you glide and push against a wall, and it kind of raises you up a little bit. There we go. That was what, like, third, fourth try? That's not too bad. Or, I mean, that's bad. That's not too bad for me. I'm still fairly new to that. Yeah, there are a couple of wall glides in this run that are useful, and a few more in other runs that are very useful but very, very hard to do. Yeah. Yeah, if you push left, if you're angled into the wall too much, you just drop, and if you're not angled into it enough, then you don't get any of the extra height, so it's... It's very much just a balancing act that, you know, you get better at it with practice. Ah, that was a decent night flight. 105, I think, was my time on the timer at the end there. That's not bad. Usually if I can get, like, under a minute 10 on night flight, I'll be pretty happy, so 105 is good. Makes up a bit for all of those failed wall glides I had. Now, Artisans and Peacekeepers were the worlds that I really got the most practice in on uh, when I was doing world practice. So hopefully they should go pretty well. And Magic Crafters should go okay too, but once I get to Beast Makers, it's kinda anyone's game whether or not I'll actually still improve. Bird, come on. Honestly, even if I don't get under two hours tonight, uh, I'm not gonna be that bothered by it. I mostly just wanted to get a full run in tonight. I haven't done one in a while.
there are a few places in the game where I can sometimes get two spring chests at once, and that's one of them that I always go for. from the bird on the right. I didn't see it drop. Got a little confused. those stairs. Wow, 42 second gold split? Oh right, my splits are messed up. That's probably not accurate. What? No, get back here. God damn it. That's fine. Time losses like that are still fairly minor for me. I'm really happy I got that first try, because when I don't get that first try, I usually get it like fifth try. general is not that hard to get, but it can be tricky if, uh, oh, come on, can be tricky if you're trying to do it real quick, like I was. As important as it is to be at full health, it is really annoying when Sparks leaves for, you know, 10 seconds or whatever to go eat some fodder. Ah, always seem to miss that chest. I always assume it's close enough to that wall that I can uh, just push against the wall and I'll get it, but I can't. Uh, here's the one I want. 
cool. I'm glad I got that cannoneer before he got to the cannon. It can take some time to deal with that if he spins the cannon all the way around or something. Because normally, the gems will pop out and scatter, but if you're close enough, they will home in on you immediately and you don't need to run around and collect them. Okay, I think I'm good on gems and peacekeepers. In the home world, I have gotten all the gems that I'm supposed to have gotten by now. from him. Ooh. Almost just ran off a cliff there. There's another very small wall glide. Here's some very, very bad movement from me. I don't know what that was. Seriously? These steps are not that hard to do. There we go. fall off the cliff. Okay. And once you get to that dragon, the rest of this level isn't too worrying. mostly just worrying up to this point, because if you die, you have to go really far back. 
I get all those? I did. that extra life for safety. I... oh. Man, I am, I guess, being way too cautious about making sure that I picked up gems. like this whole run so far if I'm not sure if I got a gem. I probably did. It's usually the opposite. Ooh, ooh, dang. Oh, there it is. Saved a load more time there. Thirty-two is the correct number of dragons. Nope. That is the correct number of gems. Spire, please talk to Gosmal. And I am out of peacekeepers in under 33 minutes. This is solid so far. I know I'm not going to keep up this improvement, but, you know, for what's happened so far, I am very happy. Oh. Oh, come on. There you go. This is probably my favorite song in the game. I love the music here. I did get all the ones down there, okay. Oh, and 
that timed out well. Oh, there's another pretty cool trick coming up here if you guys haven't seen it before. You can go right through this wall. There's just no collision there. If you've watched a Spyro run before, you've probably seen that, but... But if you haven't, that's always a fun one. Also, it's just so very, very easy to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Crap. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to do a thing here. I'll take this the slow way. Dang, for some reason, my movement on these platforms is very, very bad. But anyway, you, you can charge that last uh, fireworks chest and have it explode so that it knocks you back but you're still on the platform, but you gotta angle it a little precise. What? There you go. Oh. What are you guys doing? a decent start. I got all the gems I needed. Oops. Now the next big hope is that I won't accidentally fall off here somewhere and need to get carried by the fairies. That's a pretty big time loss. Now I will try a thing here that I probably won't get. I got part of it.
go get the other beetles. That was pretty smooth. That supercharge up this hill can be kind of a pain. everything there too. I wish I didn't mess up my splits so that I had a better idea of how actually good or bad I'm doing. Jekylls. Got the pause. Heck yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I can usually tell what. Oh, nice. I got that drop. That can be pretty hard to do, actually. you're doing... Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I know I'm ahead of my PB, but my splits are wrong in a lot of places, so I don't know really how good or bad actual levels are compared to what I had done before. This is all feeling pretty good so far, though. Except this, right now. This is bad. Come on, that wasn't high enough. About that, there we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That's better than my last full run, where it took me, like, three minutes to... Oh, oops, I didn't mean to stop. Where it took me, like, three minutes to get that jump. guys. I got that guy. There's just one guy left at the bottom there.
407 sounds right. I think I'm good on gems. Gems looped around that whole secret ledge. That'd be cool. Okay. That was a very good wizard peak, honestly. Except for missing that one jump a few times. Uh, overall, that was really, really good. I'm gonna try a trick here that's probably gonna fail called Dragon Skip, where if I enter this portal right, when I come out of it, I will not have to do the cutscene of freeing that one dragon outside. That's not too bad. Also, that one lines up pretty well, so. The other one, I'm not sure. I don't usually miss that plane. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess I'll just, uh, wrap back around and get him right now. Okay, let's see if I skip the dragon. Hey, I got it. hard with green sparks. definitely the hardest boss in the game. It's the only one where when I'm playing I am pretty actively worried that I'm gonna die somewhere. Yeah, that went very well. All of that went very well, actually. That the whole Magic Crafters was very good for me.
Looks like all that world practice was paying off. Oh, wait. That... Oh, well. Okay, good. I was a little worried getting that butterfly was going to mess up my cycles on these guys, but... Not too bad. This is probably the level I'm the most worried about in Beast Makers. I'm gonna do a jump up here in a minute that isn't that hard, but... And it's not even much of a loss if you miss it, because there's a dragon right here. But it's real easy if you keep missing it to lose two or three lives. Hello, Dream Book. Uh, okay. This one. Ugh, damn it. Uh, that's fine. I'm not doing too bad on lives. And getting that second try is okay. How did that not... Oh, well. But yeah, it's like I said a while ago, I fully suspected the first few worlds to go very, very well, and then the last few to not so much. But it's okay, I should still, in general, do... That was dumb of me. That was very dumb of me. Why did I change what I normally do? Um, what was I about to say? Oh, even if I'm not doing great, I should still do better than I did in my PB. the edge there. Oh my god, I love that emote with, what is it, a panda with its tongue out? That's adorable. That was the level I was the most worried about. Came out of it without losing much time. So I can be perfectly happy with that. I'm also gonna charge these and then pick up a fodder that's right here. Because I don't want green sparks. there. 
That was very nice. Uh, that way? Yeah. Always takes me a second to remember exactly where Wild Flight is down there. finish in the tunnel. That's what I need. Oops. Okay, now Misty Bog. Now Terrace Village was the level I was the most worried about, but Misty Bog is the hardest level here, so... Hopefully this will go okay as well. Going into it with blue sparks, which is pretty good, because there's a fodder right at the start that I can get. So basically going in with full health. That'll make it a bit easier. again. I uh, should kill that guy, though. Or else he will get me. Um, yeah, I think I got all the frog gems. I'm pretty sure I did. got all the gems on the stumps up there, but if I missed any, I will be back up there later and I can check. myself off the edge there. Okay. Let me try that one more time while I actually look at where I'm going. There we go. There are 
chest down there? No. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay then, Misty Bog. I see how it is. Oh boy. Honestly, this is hilarious. I'm not even mad. This is too funny. Misty Bog is such a hard level, and I'm just screwing up this one really easy thing. Oh, I love it. Love this game. Now hopefully those frogs I left won't get in the way. Get out of here. 397, is that right? That sounds right. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Good news is, if I missed any gems, I have so much time. Oh boy. Okay, okay, let's, let's get these guys. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna take this spot real slow and and try not to take any damage. God damn it. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. I don't have sparks. That could have been much worse. Um, no, that's worse. Oh, no, wait, that's not worse. I just got a dragon. I mean, yeah, it sucks, but, you know, I'm right here. Hey, hey, out of Misty Bog. I'm out of Misty Bog, and I'm not behind. That's all I that's all I could really ask for. Nope, nope. Nope, thought I'd grab that. There you go. talking up how hard uh, Ferris Village and Misty Bog are, but Treetops really isn't a joke either. A lot of guys where it's just really easy to accidentally kind of charge around them and then get hit off a cliff or something. missed that jump in a long time. Let's try that again. That's better. Sorry 
did I get all the gems here? Yes. Good. Word is hosting me. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm hoping to uh, finish this run in under two hours. That's, that's my goal right now. Okay, come on, stone knot. Oh my god, I actually got it! Dang, I haven't gotten that in a run in a long time. Maybe ever, actually. Woohoo! Saved loads of time! Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll get this extra life while I'm there. There's nothing there. <laughs> okay. I tried. myself up there. really cautiously, but this feels like a pretty good metal head so far. What? Ah! Thought I flamed. Guess I didn't hit the button. P38 sounds right. Believe I got all the gems. Um... Cool. Got all of them? Yes. Good. Good, good. Oh, 
Spyro, get those, please. Nice! Yeah, made up basically all the time I lost in Misty Bog already. facing the right way. Dang, did I get all of those? Yes, cool. What was that? I jumped. Wait, okay, good. I got a lot of extra height on that jump up there, though. It was like I kind of, hmm, like I kind of charged into the corner between that wall and the ground and then jumped as soon as I hit it and it gave me a bunch of extra height. That was really weird. <clears throat> oh. Thought I could charge that guy. Where'd that fool go? Oh, he's right there. Oh, I'm doing fine on lives. I do not need to keep picking those up. Okay, let's see if I can get the door. Still not totally consistent with this, so gonna have to be a little bit lucky. Got it, nice. Um yeah, I'm gonna do this the normal way. I was practicing the fast way where you turn around on that supercharged ramp and come back out here, but I'm still not getting it consistently.
I think I'm through the hardest part of this level now. I was a little worried here. It's pretty easy to accidentally die somewhere and then lose a ton of time because you need uh, you need to go to each of the fairies instead of just the one. But at this point, uh, even if I die, I, I'm not losing a whole lot. Wow. Oh yeah, at this point my splits should more or less be right. So where it says I apparently had a 48 second gold split, I believe that. Yeah, there's a bit up here. I won't be sparksless for too long. I'm actually just gonna run over ahead to that. Oh my god, mushrooms. I think I should make sure. This level is hard, but I feel like I'm doing okay so far. That jump almost killed me. Maybe I shouldn't have spoken so soon. Ooh. Oh, I 
guess I'm good. for me. I need to go all the way back around and get the rocket again. Okay. Nope, I'm good. Yeah, I... I will take that for Dark Passage. Considering I was Sparksless twice, I will take that for Dark Passage. There is a mushroom... Right there, it was just out of view. Oh well. Hey look, now I have gold sparks again. I did it. guy while I charged into him. Huh. Maybe he was, like, just turning small or something. where that cannon won't hit one of the guys ever and you need to kill yourself to fix it. Still pretty good icy flight. Oops. Uh, right, okay. I 
now this one. Just moving right on through the game. Oh, yeah, that's right. Lofty Castle is another one with a great song. Also a relatively hard level, so hopefully I don't mess up too much here. Also, are those... Okay, it looked like the mushrooms were trapped in that cage. I think they were just hopping around in there, though. that guy while he was coming down, but I missed the button press. Man, I'm getting caught on a lot of corners today. Just in the game, right there. Fun fact of the day. Ooh, another big gold split. Nice. Yeah, 
Man, this has been going so well. It's gonna be so sad when I blow all this time in loot. I would start moving. If I didn't miss that, that would have gone really well. I think it's probably still faster to just come back here and do this again. Come on. Oops, ah, oh, shit. I did not want to fall down there. a bunch of those extra lives on purpose a while ago because I thought I might need them and then I just started collecting a bunch on accident instead. Oh, that's not too bad. I didn't lose much time there. chunk of the game. Here we go.
Honestly, I did not expect to be doing this well when I got to this point in the game, and I'm a little uh, disappointed in myself for not practicing Nasty's world more. Because I'm pretty certain this is going to go worse than anything else I've done today. <laughs> That should have been all of them. Dang it. Again with the extra, extra lives. Mr. Two. Was it down here? Uh oh. That's not good. Please say it was in here. Uh oh. That's really not good. Ah, shit. I actually need to go look for it. Man, it has been a long time since I've missed a gem.
work there. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Where is it? level again. Did not find it. Ooh, 398. I'd rather would luck to have sparks with this. Oh, fuck. It's right there. That guy's gem was hiding in that barrel. Uh, I haven't touched any dragon pedestals. Yeah. Well, them's the brakes. Just like two minutes lost. That's barely anything. I'm fine. Single bullet stopped my supercharge. Let's try that again. Twilight Harbor. Getting 
damaged by things that I don't touch, getting pushed away and unable to get near things. That is the Twilight Harbor experience. At least I didn't miss any gems. that will say 400. Good, good, good. Fuck. Okay. Beat Nasty North. Sub 151. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna run to the bathroom while the credits roll. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? His toast! So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Okay, good. Got back before the credits ended. Oh. 
Let's see. I should start loot uh, around like 155. Um, takes about three minutes. Yeah, hopefully I won't throw away the the sub two hour potential. It's gonna be close though. Missing that gem in North Cove very much did not help. But also again, just holy crap, the <laughs> So much, so much better than I was expecting. Okay, get the last dragon. The last few gems. Oh, there's a chest there. And there, and there. Good. Oh, good. Starting this around 154. I guess I was about a minute off. Well good, that's one more whole minute that I have to do this. And yeah, I mean, if I can't do loot in, what, like six minutes, that's gonna be pretty sad. that first fan chest didn't do that. several minutes trying at it, I'm just gonna lose a little bit less and do this the quote-unquote intended way. I seem to remember there's also another backup you can do, but I just don't remember it offhand. turn around at a certain point when you get back there, he'll basically just fly into you. There we go. Three minutes to finish. I think that's plenty of time.
finish with green sparks. That's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> My time is 158.13. Final, I got the sub 2. Now I'm gonna go back to not playing this game for a very long time. Actually, that's not true. I'm probably gonna keep playing around. I'm just not gonna run 120 for a while. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. Oh, it is a relief to have this done. You need I've been wanting to do this for a while. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again. 